Hey guys, how's it going? It's your boy Khan, TDK, Mr. So Real. And in today's video, we are going to be looking again at the lightweight M4, but this time we're going to be talking about the recoil pattern and why it is very important for all players to understand the recoil patterns of their weapon so that they can better choose the mods that they use and also think about the talents that can help them be a better agent and perform even better. Now, we're going to take a, a very in-depth look at this. It'll probably take somewhere around 10 minutes. So if you have the time, check it out. And if you like this and you learned something, don't forget to hit that like button as it helps the channel out a lot. So without further ado, let's get on to learning about the recoil pattern of the lightweight M4. Let's talk about the recoil pattern. So first, let's strip off everything from this weapon. And this is a lightweight M4. And the talents that I have on it, uh, I re-rolled and got brutal. I have vicious and I have destructive. Now destructive is going to give me even more armor shred. Vicious is going to give me critical hit chance increased by 10% with two segments of health. And Brutal is going to go for the headshot damage, giving me 12% more headshot. Uh, now this is the kind of weapon that I like. Personally, I don't really do a lot of hip firing, and I try to aim for the head as much as possible. So Brutal is best for me. If your aim is not that great, and you're still struggling uh, from you know not using the controller so much, or you're new to using consoles, then this is something you'll have to adjust for your playstyle. Brutal may not be suited for everyone. Uh, but if you are an accurate shot and you do like to hit your headshots and you're pretty good at it, then Brutal may be the way to go. Now speaking about the recoil pattern, we'll use the good old brick wall here. And from about, I'd probably say this is close to 10 meters away uh, in game. Uh, we're going to go from about here uh, let's say let's say let's say from here because this will make things a little easier when we talk about some other things but from this from this wall here I'm gonna aim and line it up here now first I'm going to from this range I'm just gonna say nothing I'm not gonna use any kind of aim down sight let's just look at the uh, grouping of the bullets and the recoil alright so there's nothing on this weapon let's just shoot now I was not touching the controller, this is what we get. It's kind of um, in this general vicinity, we've got a, a large pocket here and it starts to ride up. Now if we aim down sight, say somewhere around here, line this up. That is one magazine, no extended clip, and it goes pretty much vertical. You have a, a pretty nice uh, pocket of bullets right about here, and then it starts to ride up. Now we'll try that one more time. And it's pretty much the same thing. This has a slightly uh, more vertical grouping. We have a little more bullets in this area, but it's about the same. Now, when it comes to using weapons like this, there is definitely something that I would always recommend that you use in your abilities, and that is the talent Steady Hands. Now, Steady Hands, what that will do is give you 25% uh, reduce recoil for 10 seconds as long as you enter cover. Now how that would work, looking at this weapon with no attachments, we can bounce onto cover, you see steady hands at the bottom, and we'll just let it ride. Now that recoil pattern, although it is going up and to the right, it is noticeably less. And that is something that you may use to help keep your headshots uh, on target, because without stability, you will end up fighting with this weapon quite a bit. And we'll try that one more time just to give you another uh, look at it. So we bounce off of cover, we have the steady hand icon at the bottom, and we let it ride. Now I'm not doing anything to control or you know any of this. And this is a pretty decent grouping and this is very, very manageable. Now if we look at our attachments, and this is where things get interesting, we will use our Omega Suppressor with 
eighteen five. We will lead, say go with this stability uh, grip, and I'll leave the uh, magazine alone. And let's just try it without the extra stability of the sight. Now here we go. This is straight up uh, without any of the steady hand bonus. We'll go from here, line it right up, and let it ride. Now comparing that to this one, it's noticeably less recoil. We're cutting off about this much. And the first initial bullets are in a pretty good group. So let's try this with steady hands and see how that goes. Bounce on, get off of cover, line it up, let it rock. And here we have slightly less comparing to about from here to there, a much tighter grouping at the beginning. And this should help you get your headshot even faster. Now, the last thing that I'm going to say is that I personally would uh, recommend that you use stability on your site as well. Now, for me personally, I have a couple different options. I have a 13.5 stability with 4% critical hit damage and 3% chance. And then I have one that is 13 with 6% headshot damage and 4% critical hit damage. Now. I'm not really running a lot of crit on this build, so the headshot damage for me is more important, and I'll go with this one because it not only gives me better numbers, but it's more along the lines of what I'd like to do with this weapon, and that's get headshots. So with this, uh, just looking at it, without the steady hands, and I'm running out of room here, we're going to go about here, and this is with the two stability mods on the weapon. All right. Now that's pretty close to what it would be with steady hands just by putting that mod on there. We this is with steady hands, this is without steady hands and one uh, stability mod. This is with no stability mods and you can see that the recoil pattern even the grouping for the bullets right here is very good. Um, and this is quite manageable. All right, so now I've fixed the wall and <laughs> decided to talk a little bit more about this. Now, the other thing to uh, kind of compare, and we'll do this very quickly. I'll do this one more time. Bounce off of cover, and this is with both of the stability mods. This is with the sight stability and the grip stability. And we're going to bounce off of cover, go here. And line it up. And that is the grouping for the weapon with two stability mods on it. Now, if you are thinking about, well, maybe I can control it without the um, stability mod on the site, let's take a look at that. Uh, we have some options. Uh, with my tortoise and hare build, if you've looked at that, I use the 12 times scope and that has headshot damage, critical hit chance, and a very slight amount of stability. Now, if you're one of the people who looks at the numbers, you might say, well, these numbers are pretty good. It's better than the other one. I can get more damage. Uh, this is from 17% headshot damage. If I had an 18% uh, percent headshot damage, it'd be even more. But let's just look at this. All right, we've got an extra 2.5 stability. We'll put that on, and then we'll try this with steady hands first because we did it a second ago. Now with steady hands we get something like this. All right. Now that grouping is not too bad um, and, and that is perfectly acceptable. I would say this is pretty good and it's worth using. Now let's try looking at this without steady hands and this is where we have our kind of deciding factor that cone out of the way. So let's look at it without steady hands. This is what it looks like. Now without steady hands we get quite a large uh, amount of recoil on this weapon. And then we'll switch it back just to side by side comparison this and get that extra stability. I believe it was this one. All right, now to get that extra stability, 
side by side with no steady hands. It's slight, but it is noticeable. And this is the kind of thing that you may want to think about. Now, steady hands only last you for about 10 seconds. And the amount of recoil that you're going to get when it runs out is something that you have to keep in mind to keep your shots on target. Right here in this demonstration, we're not actually that far away from the target, so it would be much easier to hit. If you are using a, a lightweight M4 at, uh, I guess, what would be maybe a usual range, would probably be somewhere around here. This is a bit of, you know, a difference when you talk about your weapon. Now this is with stability from, you know, probably a decent range looking down sight, you get that much stability. Um, now if we take off this stability here and just go for raw damage, very quickly same spot haven't really moved you get something like this and the farther away you get the more noticeable and pronounced this recoil pattern is and that's really and truly not that far away from the target we're probably about here to not so far away um, and the engagements can get longer depending on how you like to play and that's basically something that you should keep in mind if it doesn't fit your play style then make sure that it's something that you know does and that you could use to get better accuracy and to kill and hit your targets even better so again my recommendations are that you use some kind of uh, accuracy on the scope as well as the undergrip. So please remember to think about which attachments are best for you, best for your play style, and best for your weapon. I hope that this video helped you guys out with learning what to use for your lightweight M4. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer them for you. And if you'd like to see me do reviews similar to this for any other types of weapons, if I have them, I would definitely do that as well. Again, this is Khan, TDK, Mr. So Real. I hope this helps you out. And if it did, remember to hit that like button. I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace.